lookups. That's what we're going to work on today are, is Splunk lookups. There are three types of lookups. If we uh, we look at them, they have we have CSV lookups, we have KV lookups, and we have geospatial lookups. We'll be doing a video on each of the three types and kind of how to use them. But today we're just going to briefly cover CSVs. They're the most common. They're the ones people have the most information about, and we're going to show how to use them. First thing we're going to do is talk about how to get a CSV into Splunk. So I've got myself a little CSV file here. It's a list of IP addresses, and I put on there that they are workstations. So maybe it's a little CSV that's identifying workstations on my network. And it's called lame CSV demo. And so how we're going to do that, we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to lookups. And we're going to go add a new lookup. We're going to leave it in lame training, and I'm just going to go to home, lame training. There is my lame CSV demo. I'm going to give it whatever name I want it to be called. In this situation, I'm going to call it the exact same thing, lame CSV demo dot CSV. Make sure to add that dot CSV on there for a CSV. If you don't, it's going to come out weird. Don't do it. It'll cause you problems down the road, little bugs. So make sure you call it out with the dot .csv on there. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to be now told where do I want, what kind of permissions do I want to give this thing. So if I go lame demo, I hit enter, search that, and We, there it is, lame CSV demo. It starts out as private. We want to give it the ability to be used. Do we want it to be only used by me, only used when I'm in the lame training app, or do I want it to be available to everyone? I'm going to make it available to everyone. I'm going to give read write permissions to everyone and hit save. As simple as that, I have a CSV lookup. Cool, you got a CSV lookup. What are you going to do with it? So let's go back to lame edu. And we've got a search here. In order to search it, you use a pipe. Pipe is always the command you say, hey, I'm not looking at an index. I'm looking at something else, whether that be metadata, T stats, or in this case, they're going to call it an input lookup. There are, we've got, even though I've been calling it a lookup, when you want to pull it from this, we're going to use the input lookup. And so we're going to use input lookup. And then we've got lame demo dot, lame demo CSV csv demo dot csv want to show that it is case sensitive so once you put it in you've got to know how you spelled it and so when i use the uppercase i get it back and now i get source ip and type i have other videos that show how to search my search and where video um, explain this but if i want to find these uh, i want the things that are say I want all source IPs of 10.0.0.1. Your gut would tell you that you go 10 point like this. Put it in quotes. It doesn't work. What you have to do in order to search something like that is you do a pipe and then you can use a search source IP equals 10.0.0.1. If you do that, you'll get back the results. You cannot just put it here. It's just one of those little uh, ways that uh, input lookups work. But anyway, so that is the general principle of how to put a CSV in, how to search it. There is another cool feature of it. We can go to, there is an app called Lookup Editor. It is amazing. It allows you to actually, instead of just drag and drop putting files in, I can actually see them, modify them. It gives me kind of an Excel type table. I can go uh, CSV lame lame csv demo there it is when i click it i'm actually given a table breakdown where i can actually edit these values i could change them whatever hit save i could also export this so i can get the csv printed out or i can go import and i can go select my file to import we'll just go straight to lame server.csv and anything that was new, it'll just add right onto it, hit the save lookup, and we're done. Um, I can, so it's really simple. I can open it up in search. 
that'll show me exactly the syntax to run this thing. Um, so yeah, that's, that is uh, Lookup Editor. I'm gonna show another thing with Lookup Editor. If I come in here, I'm gonna go Apps, Lookup Editor. I have the ability to create a new lookup here, or I can create a new lookup here. Here's my KV lookup. Here's my CSV lookup. And I'm gonna call this um, my lame CSV demo 2.csv. I'm gonna put it as part of the lame edu. And what's cool is I can go import, select my file. I'm gonna go grab this lame. And just like that, I have it. I got my CSV input. And I can search it and, and, and use it. So that's how you put information in. That's how you use it. That's how you can pull it back. And so that is a CSV lookup, uh, input lookup in a nutshell. I hope this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up. Um, I would love it if you could subscribe to the channel. Um, and I hope this helps you from moving from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja.